The future of gymnastic sport in Uganda that in the non so distant past seemed to be in limbo has all of a sudden been resuscitated. This follows the local federation leadership interventions, including targeting of thorough grassroots development. This has been helped further by inclusion of the sport on the education curriculum. At the top, the local federation has continued indulging partners like the international body that has sent its development officer for Africa, Mogosi Seko. Uh, with my initial assessment of the situation, I realized that um, there's three basic things that uh, need to be done to help with the development of gymnastics. One is the uh, technical support for coaching and judging, coaching in particular. So in order to answer this, this one particular aspect, we've actually arranged already for a course which will come in the next month, where we're going to give uh, technical training for coaching, in, uh, particularly in tumbling and aerobic, and some foundational, fundamental movement skills. The other point that we saw is uh, necessary is uh, support in administration. administration. Being a young federation, the Gymnastics Association needs a lot of support to be able to establish the foundation for the sport. So we're hoping that from a local perspective with the government structures and other uh, stakeholders, they will be able to help to give this support so that we can implement the sport. And the third one is equipment. You know, for gymnastics to be able to, to be safe, ultimately you need to provide the right equipment. And therefore that we need space. So space is essential. And the International Federation is willing to assist with equipment, provided that we have they have space that is dedicated for gymnastics that it can be set. Gymnastics Association of Uganda head Harriet Aya believes that with availability of basics like infrastructure and funding, the sport in Uganda will flourish. His coming here is because as Uganda we have, of course, at the moment our struggles to do with funding of sports. And so when we reached out to FIG, we were very blessed to have the mother body send us the development officer for Africa, our continent, and is right here to help us implement the best realistic programs that can work best for our federation. During his stay in Uganda, Sekomo Gosi has held meetings with high-ranking sports officials at the National Council of Sports and the Uganda Olympic Committee. John Burns, Centum, reporting.